Hi, this is a quick video to show how to do independent t-test in uh, Python. So independent t-test has this assumption the samples should be independent. They should be from totally different, uh, you know, samples. Um, and the variance of these samples should be the same. So what I will do is first import the numpy package and the scipy package. And there we'll use uh, some of the functions in the uh, in the scipy package to perform the test. So for that I'm going to create first two independent sample. So we're going to use the <coughs> random dot uh, randn uh, from the numpy package to create a random sample uh, which has a normal distribution and then I'll create another random sample y. So x and y are the two independent uh, random samples. It's difficult to actually judge the independence of the samples but um, uh, you know we have tried our best to make sure that they're totally independent in, in some sense because uh, we're creating from uh, you know ra using random functions um, <clears throat> and they both have 100 observations. So let's first see what the means are. So we'll use the mean functions and he's it is 1.2 and the mean of y is 0.5. The standard deviation should be same because the assumption here is that the, the variance should be the same. And we use the standard deviation uh, to get uh, the standard deviation which is 0.9 in both cases. So 0.93. Slight difference but that's okay. Right. And the null hypothesis here is that, that uh, the mean of uh, x equal to mean of y or the average of uh, x is equal to the average of y given the assumptions that uh, the variance or the standard deviations are same in both samples <coughs> and the alternate hypothesis that they are not the same so we are going to do the two sided t test so from the stats uh, package in the scipy we get t test underscore in so which, which is the package which is uh, the method for uh, the independent uh, t-test and the parameter that we are going to use are the two uh, data, uh, the data series x and y and when we run this we get this one we get the t statistic value which is 5.5.52 and the p value which is 1.05 the moment we see the t statistic value greater than 2.7 then it gives an indication that you know the p value will be less than 0 0.05 and here it is it's less than 0 0.05 so it's significant at 95 confidence level so we so we reject the null hypothesis in this case and accept the fact that they are different so the mean of x and mean of y they are different they're not the same that's how you do uh, the independent t-test but remember uh, well that this will be different samples you know the variance should be the same 